everybody. It is Renee from Rat Stash, and I am at Crackleberry Cackle Bear Cackleberry Farm okay. down in Lancaster on Route 30. And inside, um, music's a little loud, so it's hard to video inside. But there's so much. I'm I'm doing as much as I can. But there is this back room, and it's Joe's um, toys. And now I understand why it's called Joe's Toys, because this whole room is nothing but G.I. Joe. <laughs> Very small parts of something else, but pretty much G.I. Joe. So if you are a G.I. Joe fan, or you like vintage G.I. Joe, you'll like this video. All right, let's go take a look around, and I'm going to show you all the G.I. Joe stuff. Okay, so two bonuses. There's no music back here. Yay. And there's nobody back here. So um, I'm going to be able to video pretty well here for you. I'm going to do as much as I can, shelf by shelf. But look at this. G.I. Joe action figures. G.I. Joe action figures. I'm going to make it so it's not... Woohoo! Two, 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 two close. All right, so look at this. Look at the G.I. Joe scuba guys. Then we have the G.I. Joe. Look at the MP. We have the Marine. Look at all that. Then we have, look at that. There's the Sailor. There's a bit of a glare, so I'm sorry for the glare. I'm going to try to get as best as I can here. But um, it has the action figures plus like the accessories in packages in packages. Some of these prices are really kind of wild. Like um, that gun, rocket firing bazooka, $550. This one is $350. So some of the prices here are a little, little high um, for me, but I don't collect G.I. Joe. So I'm assuming if you are a collector of G.I. Joe, you're probably watching this video going, no, Renee, those prices are fantastic. So look at that with the bobsled and the dogs. I just think that's so cool. But G it's all G.I. Joe. Now, here is a question for you. I'm going to get down to it, but there is an, a case down here. What was G.I. Joe called before it was G.I. Joe? Does anybody know? Put your comments in the section. I'm going to show you in a moment. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this. He actually has like the, he has the bumble. He has the bumble. He found him. He found him on Everest and he got the bumble. Look at that. It is so cool. Look at these outfits. The demolition man. Look at that. This one's another one for uh, a bobsled. Look at that bobsled guy. See, when I think of that, I'm just thinking of, like, Yukon Cornelius <laughs> and the Bumble. So <laughs> that's what I see. Dog sled, that's what I think of. But it's because Todd has burned it into my brain. We have to watch that movie all the time. It's his favorite movie. Look at this. Just, I mean, and they have, like, they don't just have the action figures. Then they have, like, G.I. Joe games. Then they have um, the blinker code light. Then they have equipment for this action sailors. So look at all of these. Now, this is what I was talking about. So I'm assuming this is a steel building, so I can't get any kind of coverage. I can't look anything. I can't Google Lens anything. I can't do anything in here. <laughs> um, I can't make a phone call and I can't receive a phone call because I'm still waiting to hear back from a couple people that I found things for. I'm going to have to go out and then I'll come back in later. But um, pre, which I'm, I'm hoping this is correct. I heard this from another person down here, so I'm hoping it's correct and I don't mean to not give you correct information but this other gentleman told me that pre gi joe that was like this gi joe it was called action man so it was like pre gi joe is am i right on that i don't i don't know but it sure looks like the same kind 
of person. I mean, look at them. They have boxes and boxes and boxes. If you are a G.I. Joe are a G.I. Joe collector or a G.I. Joe fan or your husband or boyfriend or father or somebody is a huge G.I. Joe collector, you have to come out here. Um, the prices are a little, for me, they are high, but it's because I don't understand the value of the stuff. Um, I can understand, you know, selling things and, and such, but I, I can't understand the value of it. So me saying it's high doesn't really mean anything because somebody might think pottery's high and I'm like, no, I love pottery. <laughs> so I'd pay like up for pottery. So you never, you never know. Like, but if you have somebody that is a collector, they need to come here because I'm, I have like only got halfway through the store. <laughs> All right. So here's some more figures. This is again, uh, action man. This is again, action man, which like I said, I'm hoping that that gentleman was right and not and telling me combat Joe. Look at that. Combat Joe. Look at that. That one's cool. And they have them, oh my gosh, all of the boxes, like any of these figures that are standing, they all have the boxes down below. So you get the box with it. So the prices are what they are, but you get the, you get the box too. I mean, how, mostly, you know, toys, you know, kids played with them. So yeah, it's really, it's really something. There's even the G.I. Joe race car. Look at that, the action figure case. These are more of the action man. These are all of the accessories. I mean, $65 for a gun. How about this one here? $75 for shoes and a binocular. So then there is G.I. Joe with uh, the Cowboys and Indians. G.I. Joe. So look at that. Look at that teepee. That's cool. Now there's other G.I. Joe stuff. I mean, there's even, there's newer stuff. So it's not so, so expensive. So like, here's this, here's this thing for $22. And it's all the mountain assault mission gear accessories. So this is like a space accessories. That's $22. So then we have, they have sets like that. There's a full set here. G.I. Joe, like Hall of Fame G.I. Joes. And they're $49. Look at that one. So there's so and look at Strike Force. Look at that. Now when I go around the corner, look at look at this. Oh, before I go around the corner, I want to show you this. So this is these are really nice. This action sailor, $85. I love that. I mean, Todd was his navy, so of course I love that. But <laughs> I just think these are really cool. Deep sea, look at that. In the box is $125. Look at this rescue squad. $129 full in box. And then when you go around the corner, there is all of the trucks and such. Now, you guys watch my videos and you know, I had one of these vehicles for sale and I sold it down at Fences, down at our, our store at Fences. So I had this yellow command center truck, command center truck. I just sold it for $100. Apparently I was about $200 short. <laughs> and not knocking the thing, but mine was pristine in the back. That has the pieces um, off of it. And I had all the accessories. So I, I was a little light on my pricing. <laughs> Guess I should have came here first. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm glad the person that actually the person that got it is uh, an avid G.I. Joe collector. He's an older gentleman and he collects G.I. Joe. So I'm happy that it went to the right spot. And you know what? We are always the best deal in town. Rat stash. Don't forget. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip it around, show you the last of it. Okay, so oh, let me just zoom out of here. All right, so look at all of the figures. Look at this. Look at the look at the rub-ons, magic picture transfers. 
the G.I. Joe lunchbox and thermos. Look at this old G.I. Joe game. Remember these games? You would hold them, the plastic games, and you ping pong games, and you shoot them. Look at that. Look at the pilot down there. And they have the boxes. I mean, time capsule. Look at the time capsule. Uh, just, just a phenomenal shop. A phenomenal shop, and it's a phenomenal shop for someone who is a G.I. Joe collector, which I appreciate. You know, I appreciate people who are collectors of items. Um, huge appreciation of that. I collect things. Todd collects DC. So I am r friends with Chris from Muppet Stuff. His Muppet collection is out of this world. Um, Dave from Cinema Sickness, he has multiple collections, um, but he's very particular and pristine with his collections, which I am impressed by. Like, I'm always impressed by that. So I just thought, I'm going to show you this collection of all of this stuff here. I just think it's a great, great shop to go to. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed walking around here with me for this, and I will talk to you later.